The cross of Jesus Christ wasn't at its heart a, some kind of dirty business transaction. That's what Caiaphas proposed when he said about Jesus, it's better that one man die than the whole nation perish. He had in mind uh, what he was used to. He was a businessman, you know, he, and he was used to the pagan notions of sacrifice, which at at, its, at their heart are some sort of grubby business deal. And he was saying, we will offer Jesus Christ to God in effect, you know, as a sacrifice, and then God will spare the rest of us. That's wrong at so many levels. And now here's why the cross of Jesus was not some kind of grubby, you know, business deal. In a business transaction, you need two parties, don't you? You need someone who buys something by offering something, to uh, the uh, vendor, the person who has what you want, and then that second uh, party to this deal then gives you what you want. That was Kaifa's idea. And too often we have the same idea about the cross and it muddies our thinking. And so I want to um, you know, help you get rid of that kind of thinking because the cross wasn't like that at all. You know, I've got to admit, it's true that the New Testament and throughout the scripture, you find all sorts of metaphors of Calvary. And sometimes you can see aspects of this in, in those metaphors. But let's go to the, to the very heart of what Calvary was. The people who see it as some kind of business transaction uh, see it as Jesus saying to the Father, well, Father, you know, you're, you're, uh, you're full of wrath, you know, have this idea of the wrathful, vengeful Father, and uh, you're angry because these people have sinned, and so, uh, you know, the thing that, that makes you less angry is if, if you see me suffer, so I'm going to suffer and die for these people, and in return, you know, will you please forgive them? And when the Father sees that Jesus has suffered enough, you know, uh, he's finally satisfied, if you like, then he forgives uh, all those who uh, are willing to be saved. That's wrong at many levels. And the reason is because there aren't two parties to um, the transaction. It's not a transaction because there aren't two parties. It's not, salvation is not a deal between the Father and the Son. And here's why. Because God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself. When Jesus suffered, the Father suffered. You know, when Jesus said, forgive them for they know not what they do, that was the prayer of the Father as well. The Father's heart for the salvation of the world was uh, was Jesus' son as well. So what was the cross? The cross was a great rescue where the, the law of the universe says that we are all sinners and we have sinned and we must die. And God, in the person of Jesus Christ, died in our place. That's what the cost of Calvary was. And it's not some grubby transaction. And never, ever lower Calvary and, and the magnificent work that Jesus Christ did there to that horrible level and that grubby kind of thinking. The cross was never a business deal, not a business transaction. There were never two parties to it. It was God alone taking the initiative to rescue humanity.